Hey plumbers, this is Rob with Inyo Pools. Today we're going to show you how to prime a pool pump. Um, and essentially the priming of the pool pump means to purge all the air from the system so the so it can stay fully primed and operating well. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is turn off the pool pump, which I've already done so you can hear me talk. Uh, next, you want to remove the lid. Um, if the basket is full of debris, you'd want to clean that out. Same with the, the skimmer basket. Then we're going to get a hose. I'm going to fill this up. If you don't have a hose handy, you can also get a bucket of water to do this. And you're just going to put that in there and let it fill up the lines. It's going to also fill up you know, the lines running back to the pool. Get those gather air. Another thing you can do is, you want to do is open the air relief valve because you want that open when it starts to, starts to operate. Okay, so we're gonna put the lid back on. Tighten it, but you don't have to over tighten it. And before you turn the pump back on, you want to make sure your return lines are open and you want to make sure your suction lines are open as well. Make sure all the lines are open, make sure there's no plugs in the pool. We'll go ahead and turn it on. Okay, you can see the water start to flow in and pick up. We're going to close the air relief valve once it starts spraying out water. Okay, while that's priming, we'll go ahead and take a look over here. You can see the rest of the air being purged out of the lines. And uh, this pump in particular is a Hayward TriStar variable speed. So it starts off in a high RPMs to prime and it runs for about three minutes and then it kicks it down to my uh, normal operating speeds, which I keep about 35%. Okay, so it is fully primed now. Everything is running good. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the RPMs so it's easier to talk over. And if you have a variable speed pump, you'll know like on a lower speed, you might see a little bit of air at the top. That's fine, it's not, not hurting anything. Um, uh, some things to keep in mind my and on my pool when my pump starts it primes at the full speed So I have to keep my main drain and skimmer line open as well as my returns and my bubblers just so it has enough flow um, I keep it running at uh, a lower speed to circulate the water so I you know I can Partially close the main drain to pull a little more water through the skimmer and I can cut off the bubblers um, some things to keep in mind when you're trying to, to prime the pump, you know, make sure the water level in your pool is good. Some people forget that, but if the water level is low, it, it's going to pull air from the skimmer. So just make sure the water level is good. Make sure the baskets are clean, the skimmer basket and the pump uh, basket. Um, some, some tips if you're having trouble priming it. First of all, it may take a couple times so if it doesn't prime on the first try go ahead and take the lid off put some water in try it again um, some pools uh, you'll need to close the skimmer line and just pull from the skimmer because um, it has a hard time pulling from both so if you isolate it to one it, it may prime uh, just fine uh, if you have a sand or de filter and you have a multi-pore valve you can put it on recirculate that'll help it prime uh, quickly um, Common issues other re issues that might not prime is you got a suction side air leak Maybe a, um, a bad pump lid o-ring or a leak on the suction side somewhere. Maybe the, the union o-ring or 
through the valves. There's O-rings in these valves that go bad. Um, for a full list of reasons why your pump might not prime, uh, we have other videos for that and guides. We'll link those in the description. And uh, if you have any other questions, leave a comment down below or visit us over at Thank you.